Hello, dear friends. It seems that we are humiliated and enduring. Every living being must go through an emotional transition. We have already won out of time and space. We are just cleaning up the mess before revealing the golden age of peace, happiness and prosperity. We are watching the collapse of the matrix. It is a controlled, slow and gradual demolition the results of which I expect to be to see soon. Soon means sooner than expected. Opinion piece. We have ascended before. Ascending hurts but liberates. We are all humankind's angles. It's reported in small packages. There is a battle of timelines. Let's start. Many of the sources assure us that we have ascended before, or we would not be he here, according to Steve Biko. Archangel Michael says, in quotes, The ascension process is not new to you. You have achieved it many times before. Most have gone through a similar process in a different incarnation in a different reality and lifetime. Sanat Kumara reveals that we were chosen because we had enough we had been through this process before. In quotes. Each of you came because you had reached a point in your evolution back to the one where you had the ability and the will, the design and the plan, in terms of your own plan to evolve and embrace this level of full consciousness. If you were not in that place, then you couldn't have been assigned to this ascension mission at this time. According to the Arcturian through Susan Lai, it only makes sense with that interpretation in mind. If your other lifetimes you have all had ascension experiences, even those who are now lost in darkness. We didn't come here to ascend ourselves, but to help others ascend, the Actarians explain. In quotes, Why did you come to Gaia's gravely wounded planet? You volunteered to take your current vessel so you could help, not with personal ascension, since you have already ascended, but to help with planetary ascension. The Arcturian group adds that many on Earth at this time incarnated having already reached a highly evolved state of consciousness. They appear to be living ordinary lives and can be found quietly saving the ascension process in ordinary ways and in all professions and belief systems. They are yourselves. Susan Lai says, you are remembering that you choose to enter 3 ds to assist with planetary ascension. Do you also remember that you have ascended several times? Do you remember that this is why you were chosen to take an Earth vessel during this now of Gaia's shift? Remembering your past ascensions will greatly assist you in aligning your thoughts and emotions to create the thought forms of personal and planetary ascension. Timeline Warfare Ivo de Vega says You must realize that right now there is a battle over the timelines between good and evil, light and dark, and efforts are being made to allow the dark ones to make the mistakes they are destined to make, all while respecting the free will of the humankind on planet Earth. This is a monumental task. We do not need looking glass technology. When one is a higher light entity, one automatically sees the timelines and can choose the timeline one wishes to experience, for they are all for learning. However, the people of Earth through the coalition now also have that technology. When Archangel Michael asks you to send loving white light to particular parts of the planet 
or to particular events or to particular people, this is what he asks you to do. To change or stabilize the energy within the first timeline, because the occultists are trying to destabilize it in order to reach it. And this war is constantly going on. That is why it is important that living beings become aware of their manipulation and can no longer be fooled, because then they will stop attacking the creation of the natural timeline, as it is meant for the benefit of Earth and the rest of humankind. When you began to separate and being ascension, they began to attack you to keep you in the artificial timelines. The artificial timelines are constructed of lies and low frequency energy, as they have technology to manipulate and they use it to manipulate your body and mind. We are angles. We are all angles according to Steve Biko. We are all transcendent. We access the absolute and we resurface. Some of our angelic capacities have been made available to us to facilitate ascension. In discussing how they were few archangels and seraphim incarnate, Mada added a comment at the end that also jolted me. In quotes. Now, your question to me is, are there millions of emanations? And my answer is no, there are not. They are very specifically placed in what you th would think as a universal or world roles, and they are placed to do the work that the specific archangel or teacher decided to do throughout eternity or until such time as they return, in which case they will begin again regardless. Michael says it here, in quotes again, and when you return home, and you are able to reunite in the heart of the One, do not think that you are going off on another tangent or another journey simply because you feel like it, or because you are earning your way back to that linear path. You return to the universe as a bright spark of pure light. So you come, you return, you gain not only understanding, wisdom, knowledge, what you can think of as spiritual regeneration, and then you return in conjunction with many, including your guides and guiding angles, and you emerge again. And Mike Kinsey also puts it, in quotes, in the scheme of things, you periodically return to deity, only to be sent out again for a greater experience. Until now, the spiritual journey has always been represented as no return, nirvana, nothingness. The company of heaven has corrected this line of thinking. All of us are angelic on the planet at this time, and that means we all come out of the transcendental and access the absolute, and that in turn has fabulous implications for what we are capable of doing. I hope we put this information to good use by calling upon our innate ability to quickly bring the accountability phase of ascension to its conclusion. It is time to build a new earth, a world that works for all. All who have peaceful and loving intentions are welcome to join. Level of Consciousness N You were not ready before by Steve Pico. Mm. The Company of Heaven expects us to be at a certain level of consciousness before addressing some issues, as Mike Kinsey explains, quotes, At different stages of your evolution, you are given information about what to expect well in advance. Usually, you are only given what you need to take steps forward, so as to not overwhelm you. On another occasion, he continued, in quotes, As you progress through the weeks and months, there will be more revelations to advance your understanding of the truth. Previously, you have been given a minimum of information, but now you are more advanced and ready to learn some greater truths. 
because you are entering a new phase of your evolution where greater truths are beginning to be revealed, we ask you to keep an open mind so that you can adapt to the changes. In quotes again, it is best that you release your old beliefs where possible to allow an expansion of your understanding. The old beliefs were limited to keep them in line with your ability to absorb and use information. Now is the time to learn some of the greater truths about life and world around you. The illusion that you were on the only line form in your solar system has been shattered. The floodgates will open as you bring peace to Earth and you will be able to be visited by many of your off-world friends. In the meantime, the door is wide open. Mike tells us, for those who want to know more, in quotes, the door is wide open for those seeking more information, and it is being given in a way that allows for greater understanding. Since you have demonstrated your dedication to learning more, we can expand on the details we provide. All is in preparation for your advancement into the higher frequencies and final ascension. So far, we have only given you what has been sufficient or enough to answer your questions. But now your understanding is such that you can expand it and move on to more detailed explanations. It is time for you to take a great step forward and there is no limit to the gains you will be able to achieve. Michael, you are evolving spiritually and you are major, so we can have much broader conversation at this point. We haven't talked about this much, but you are now in a place where you will understand exactly what I am saying. Sanat, we are at the point where we can have this broader and deeper conversation about the meaning of the journey. Now, I am going to be very direct in this discussion because you are at the level of maturity spiritually and emotionally where you can really engage in the discussion, not in the soliloquy, but in the discussion of what this means how this happens. However, it is still important to distribute the information in small packages. Archangel Michael we need to feel or allow the opening of understanding to the broad, broad humankind collective to be in bites that they can chew, swallow and integrate. What you have seen is that you have been given bite-sized chunks of energy, of energy hits, of inputs of what you can digest, handle and bring to fruition. Ascending heads. According to Vital Frosty, the old self must decay so that the new human can rise from the ashes. To ascend is to reborn. It is the rebirth of the soul that goes through the 5D gate and enters the new earth. And in this rebirth, the birth is natural. It cannot be by a cesarean section. The necessary effort must be made by each one. This rebirth doesn't happen in one day or in one year. We had our whole present existence to do, the, the, to, to do it, I mean. This is also the last incarnation within 3D duality. With death, the consciousness that is ready for it will return to the new earth and will not risk losing the opportunity to inherit the new earth. Many have already come with the soul plan to this present incarnation without the need to disincarnate and will ascend in the physical body, so that the earth will not be uninhabited for some time. On the other hand, those who disincarnate without the frequency of the new earth are taken to worlds that are still in the third dimension, according to the frequency of each consciousness. This is the separation of the wheat from the chaff predicted by Jesus himself. So. We are in a unique moment, never before experienced on this planet Earth. These are times of ascension of souls, therefore of planetary transition. A lot of light is coming in now 
and it is strengthening everything here, including our physical and mental forces of co-creation. This collective power is becoming more and more accentuated and can speed up or slow down the final timing of the changes within the, this transition. Don't underestimate your individual power, for it constitutes the collective of those of like mind. It was this collective force that determined the change in Earth's timeline in 2010. A small part of the awakened humankind's consciousness was enough to determine the no to the gun. The more you raise your consciousness, the more power you have. This is how you become a potential co-creator. Now you can create your own world. If your intention is a better world, that is the world you will have. But if your belief is that the planet will get worse and worse, that's the world you will have. This is nothing more than the law of attraction. You must also understand that all your strengths are enhanced in the same proportion as the expansion of your consciousness especially in relation to basic needs such as healing, for example. You can become a potential healer. You can heal yourself. You can heal other people. You can heal animals and even plants. You can calm a storm. You can intercede on behalf of everyone. You can determine your future, your relationship, your profession, even your destiny. It just depends on the energy and frequency you create. You are the creator. You are the healer. Learn to create. Learn to heal. The time is now. Jesus said in his time when he performed the so-called miracles. All this and much more can do on your own will. On your own, you will do greater things than me. Artificial scarcity. First. Now, now news. Something strange is happening in the food processing plants with 20 fires in the last two months. Second, plane explodes upon crash impact at grain plant in Covington, Georgia, leaving no survivors. Third, what would happen if food processing plants were destroyed on purpose? Fourth, FBI warns of cyber attacks on agricultural infrastructure. As this awareness grows, one farm has taken on the New York State, refusing to comply with bed flu orders. 5. Artificial food shortages. Hackers are targeting farmers with malware. Six grain companies were attacked last fall, and two more have already been attacked this year. Italy. Italy implements social credit system aimed at changing behavior. Italy will become the first European nation to implement a social credit system where citizens will be rewarded for good behavior, in quotes. Second, Operation Thermostat. Italy is officially becoming the first country to begin rationing energy after cutting off its supply of Russian gas and oil. Starting ne next month until at least March 2023, public buildings across the country will be banned for having air, condition, air conditioning below 25 degrees or heating above 19 degrees. Third, in Milan, elderly Italians are forced to dig through maggot scraps to find food. A pension that is too low doesn't allow them to live to the end of the month. The whole nation resents Mario Draghi for his policy size. Fourth, Italy was the first country to be blocked and will be the last to be fully reopened. Italy is one of the strongest energy hotspots on the planet. Italy is a huge galactic gateway and it is opening thanks to our frequencies. That is why there are so many ancient souls concentrated in Italy, trained specifically for this for this historic moment, when the awakening in Italy is fully activated, it will be a crystalline, a crystalline energy bomb that will hit the entire planet. That is why 
they want to lower the frequency through anger, fear and resentment. 5. Hungry residents on, of Shanghai go out in the middle of the night and bang pots and pans asking for more food, for some food f f from the government. 6. Protests against price hikes have also started in Mauritius. Riots broke out all over the island against the sharp increase in fuel and gasoline prices. Police are blocking the movement in the street. Curious. First, a man snakes into and survives a week inside Area 51. Second, Colorado governor signs bill legalizing abortion up to and after childbirth. Incredible. Third, blue-eyed humans have a single common ancestor, according to new research. A team of scientists has traced a genetic mutation that leads to blue eyes. The mutation occurred between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago. Before then, there were no blue eyes. Originally, we all had brown eyes, said Hans Eiberg of the Department of Cellular and Molecular Medicine of the University of Copenhagen. Fourth, could soldiers in the future receive power from their equipment from space? A team of researchers at the Naval Research Laboratory has demonstrated the feasibility of transmitting terrestrial microwave power by transmitting 1.6 kilowatts of power over one kilometer. Astronomy. Conjunction. Venus and Jupiter converge in a close conjunction in the morning sky. As they are closest approach on April 30th, they will be separated by a fraction of a degree. The, the moon will join to the show as it glides alongside the converging pair. Solar storm. A sunspot complex is breaking up with M-class solar flares and the sunspot group is directly in front of us. Two dark cores larger than our planet have been detected and a magnetic filament attached to one of the cores is over 100,000 kilometers long. As of now, the magnetosphere is being buffeted by continuously incoming plasma waves surrounding our planet. As we, we move into the new moon and solar eclipse on April 30, solar flares and winds are likely to rise even higher, and coronal mass ejections are likely to exert their power as well. Certain scientists have been manipulating particle acceleration, the creation of nuclear colliders, creating black holes by attempting to travel in and out of normal dimensional space, controlling human brain functions and interfering with solar energy in an effort to prevent human self-realization. Forecast April 24, May 1st, 2022 by Lorne, Lorne Bevan. The great transformer Pluto is slowing down to park at its most impactful point at the end of Capricorn, turning retrograde on April 30. The April 30th partial solar eclipse anchors a strong geophysical shock window from April 23 through May 7th. Expect increased seismic activity, including earthquakes and volcanic eruptions during this shock window. It is the energy the energetic gateway to the total lunar eclipse at 25 Scorpio on May 16. On April 30 and May 1st, visible only in South, and South America and Antarctica, a new moon solar eclipse occurs at 10 o'clock Taurus. The lights are conjunct waking Uranus, Mercury enters Gemini. Venus is exactly conjunct Jupiter and close to Neptune in Pisces. Pluto turns retrograde the same day until October 9th. Eclipses are powerful energetic events that can reveal openly for a moment what lies in the darkness. The conjunction with the awakening Uranus in Taurus make this 
a maverick eclipse and an eclipse with a conjunction of Venus, Neptune and Jupiter. It's very rare and auspicious. This evolutionary process began in November 2021 and will not be completed until October 2023. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.